So you take the breastbone is down the centre, so you want to pick one side and you cut all the way through. Then on the, the back side you'll see the rib cage, so you want to do the same thing. Pick one side and cut all the way through. Sorry if anyone's squeamish. Then you're going to trim off any fat that you might need to. And you cut through here. There's a little bone here. You just chop that through. Wait, well, I'm sorry, what are you cutting through? There was just like a little connecting bone there. Okay. Uh, then this side you have the backbone. So if you decide you're going to leave that or take that out. I usually try to take it out. And it comes out. A little crunch here and there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> as long as it's not your fingers and it's just the <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> and then cut through the other side. Now the leg bone is attached, it's in like a socket. So what you need to do is feel the muscle and follow it around and down. And then sorry, you pop it out of the socket. Again, follow the muscle around and just pop out the socket and cut through. And then the breast you simply cut directly in half. So if you're doing, like say you're doing roasted chicken and you're putting on a buffet at home, you can do it the same way. It just makes your, uh, your chicken go further and usually less wasted, especially if you're doing you know, something like a, a whole different bunch of meals. Because quite often you see people will take you know, a piece of chicken or something else and, and not finish it.